super cool. They took the brush, they took it into their water, dipped it in. <laughs> so they'd actually been watching us cleaning their enclosure, and from that they learned that um, this brush is for scrubbing, so I do this, which is cool. Yeah, so monkey see, monkey do, as they say. Yeah, so somehow we just for enrichment, that's another thing that we help with is mistakes like that, leaving a brush in there, seeing what they do, and if they like it, then we might give them brushes to play with in the future, which is what we do now. Is this one always the most active one? Yeah, she's, um, as Siobhan said, she's the kind of the first line of defense. She likes to see that, um, she likes to make sure that yeah, she's like on patrol. She likes to make sure that things are going smooth while you're going okay. I think of her as like the castle guard. Like yeah. she's like there to scare everybody off. And then the alpha really only comes down and is at like the front line of defense, which is how you know it's the alpha when there's like a wild monkey or something like really, really threatening that she yeah. knows that otherwise she's not going to overreact because she knows that we're not going to go near her. Mm -hmm. Whereas this one's a little bit more nervous and anxious. females yeah so we do have um a male from the local troop um well he used to be a part of the local troop he's since left but we call him dennis um dennis the menace because well yeah he's a wild male and he'll oftentimes appear around feeding time um and yeah he's kind of there kind of comes here to visit he's smart enough where he has realized that there are always three lovely females here um, and they have a very consistent food supply, and our females will supply them with food. They'll, um, they'll share it? Yeah, they'll share it. Um, he knows that they'll groom him if he lays down. So he kind of lives the life, and so he comes by here pretty con pretty consistently. Has Dennis, has Dennis been by? Not today. Uh, he'll probably be by later. But, yeah, he's been coming around a lot, a lot recently. What is that? Yeah, he'll usually, um, he'll perch on that when the door is open or the door is closed um, or he'll lay on one of the branches that are sticking out or he'll crawl on top of the enclosure. So, yeah, and he'll always show up. He's kind of figured out when feeding times are. Um, that's usually when he'll make an appearance. Is there any risk of them catching a disease or parasite from him? Uh, there is potentially, but... And fleas? Um, Do you all have fleas here? Fleas and ticks? Yeah, but ours have been, they're, they're doing pretty well. We do have our vet check on them regularly, just to make sure that they're healthy. Um, and we watch for signs, probably con like consistent itching um, and things like that.